You know, anytime that you see a typewriter and a hammer on the same desk, it could mean things have gone horribly wrong. Or it could just mean that you're putting eyelets in ribbons. Because, hey, I'm putting eyelets in ribbons. And uh, I, uh, I tried explaining this process to somebody the other day and realized it would just be a hell of a lot easier if I showed you. So I already put one in this end. And uh, here's my fancy high-tech doodad that I use to wind ribbons to the other end um, and to transfer ribbons. This consists of just a two by four with two little nails stuck in them, or in, in the side. I mean, you see it, it's right there. It's real freaking high tech, right? And you stop every now and then along the way and tighten it up, because uh, that's a good thing to do, right? Right. And then take her along. I mean, I've seen lots of people that have gadgets and stuff and things that, you know, like attachments for drill bits. And, you know, I saw one dude that has a, a little fitting for his lathe that, you know, honestly, those things take longer to set up than it does to just freaking do this. I mean, the only one that I've ever seen that goes quicker is a uh, an automatic w ribbon winder. Um... I can't remember which shop that was. It was either at uh, Arrow Office Supply in Boulder that I saw that, or it might have been Mr. Soderbeck's shop in Minneapolis, St. Paul. I think it was Mr. Soderbeck's shop. I can't remember. What the hell's the name of his shop? Uh, I've got one of his business cards here. Let's hope I don't get this shit all over my case. Uh, Veil Typewriter. That's... I think it might have been at his place. I know he had the coolest darn soldering thing that I've ever seen for doing type slugs. And Mr. Soderbeck, if you happen to see this video, I'm still looking for one. I want one of those things, darn it. I think I found one on eBay the other day, but they wanted like $200 for it. All right, back on track here. We're at the other end of the ribbon. Now, I like to give a little bit of extra space, and it's normally about a foot is what I like to wind on to this end, just to make sure that it stays really well uh, well wound on the spool. And I like, gotta poke a little leader hole in there. And I got one of my brushes that I just stuck in a pencil sharpener and got a nice little point on there. And I picked this particular brush because it uh, kinda sucks as a brush. And it's just the right diameter for me to do that. Poke a really good hole in there. Now, while I do have a fancy schmancy way to do my eyelets, I have a hard time finding eyelets that fit the gadget that makes it so fancy schmancy. So instead I use this whole uh, hammer and anvil kind of thing that, uh, <laughs> that came from freaking Hobby Lobby, actually. Honestly, the hardest part about eyelets is finding the damn things. Cause, man, 90% of the ones that they sell just suck. All right, it's gonna be loud. And, uh, hey, look at there. Nice new eyelet and this ribbon, this purple and orange ribbon. I know this looks like a black and red, but I promise it is not this is a purple and orange, and man, this is a dark purple, and it's a nice burnt orange. And that dark purple is darker than any black I've seen on a ribbon, ever. It it prints so freaking dark on the page, it's not even funny. Um, that's fodder for another video, because uh, I'm gonna be doing some ribbon videos here in the next day or two. Maybe even tonight, I don't know. Uh, probably the next day or two. Yeah, I can see, there's the black on the left, there's that dark purple on the right. And, uh, pretty freaking dark. Both of them are. Man, that purple's out of control. Anyway, there you go. That's my, uh, my high-tech ribbon eyelet method. 
complete with hammer. Ha ha ha. Later.